So I wanted to make this video to show you my experiment with xylitol rocket fuel. I decided to do this experiment after learning about sugar alcohols in school and its interesting features. You know, like it's relatively lower calories than compared to sucrose, for example, and some of them like xylitol and sorbitol has endothermic reaction when you put it in your mouth, thus giving you this chilling sensation which you probably experienced yourself when chewing xylitol gums, for example. It also helps with tooth decay by tricking streptococcus mutants in your teeth to constantly hydrolyze the xylitol into acids that are harmful to them, thus forcing them to neutralize it back to xylitol and repeat. In the text that I read in school, they really wanted to emphasize sugar alcohol's supposed superiority to sucrose, and I started wondering if they could hold on to that title in the field of amateur rocketry. I searched through the internet to learn more about sugar alcohol and rocketry and I came across some great videos on sorbitol rocket fuels but I noticed there wasn't much information on xylitol rocket fuel so I decided to do it myself. First, I ordered some xylitol powder online and mixed it with an oxidizer and some aluminum powder before melting it into sort of a candy-like form. Also, I made a mini rocket motor to kind of get an idea of its maximum thrust relative to sucrose rocket motors. First, I tested a little piece of xylitol fuel. As you can see in this clip, I was having difficulties igniting the xylitol fuel, so I decided to sprinkle some sucrose rocket fuel to help with the ignition. Although I was able to successfully ignite it, I was honestly pretty disappointed since I was hoping it would flare up more than the sucrose rocket fuel. Next, I ignited the mini rocket motor. Unfortunately, some of the spark was able to get blown to my sucrose fuel container, igniting all of it. I was super shocked and all of my little xylitol fuel pieces ignited as a result, but I was able to save some of my powdered xylitol fuel. And I wanted to see if these powdered fuel were better than the melted fuel, so I ignited some of it for my final experiment. It was quite similar to the melter fuel, but to be honest, I was kind of expecting that since you melt these down to fill your motor more efficiently than powdered ones, not for uh, thrust gains. In conclusion, as you can clearly see from the earlier clips, the sucrose rocket fuel is far superior to the xylitol fuel in terms of overall energy released. To be fair, however, people choose sugar alcohols for their slow burn and easy fuel manipulation, not really for their sheer power. Perhaps in the future, I could fly both sucrose and xylitol-powered rockets to compare their overall pros and cons. Thanks for watching.